What's up, guys? It's Tyranitar Tube, and today we're going to be reacting to every Paradox Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet. I reacted to the rest of the Pokedex. It's been a few days. Let's look at these. First up is Great Tusk. This man, what a big boy. What a big boy. He grew up so fast. The big thing I want to see is if we can consider these dudes legendary Pokemon or not. If they have the stats of Ultra Beasts and like Zapdos, that's like 575 80. So he's ground fighting. Five, what the frick? What? 570 PST. Yo, this has made my day. What's Don Fan? Damn, Don Fan's buff. Yo, so they're freaking legendaries. Yes, it happened. My dream come true. They made legendary versions of normal Pokemon. You know, dude, in a future game, you might even see a Great Tusk in a cave, level 70. Maybe it wouldn't blow your mind, but for some reason, when Great Tusk here evolves over time to Don Fan, he gains special attack. Wow, why? Brute Bonnet. Oh, I just, I don't think anyone in the world likes Amoongus. Now, here's why I like it still. It's because there's something funky about this guy. First off, he's a Pokeball. And this is at least 10,000 years old. So how is there a Pokeball Amoongus? Like, you can't sit here and tell me that it's a coincidence that it looks like that. Let's read it. Wait, let's read the Pokedex entries. Great Tusk. Sightings of this Pokemon have occurred in recent years. The name Great Tusk was taken from a creature listed in a certain book. This creature resembles a mysterious Pokemon that, according to a paranormal magazine, has lived since ancient times. This makes no sense. Why the frick does he have a violet entry? The violet entry says, according to a paranormal magazine, but there ain't no magazine. There's no Scarlet book in po- Yo, there's a freaking conspiracy here. There's no s magazine in Pokemon Violet. See, uh, bro, the past with Heath makes no sense. 200 years ago, he either sees future or past Pokemon, but they weren't brought there until 200 years later. And then the two academies weren't named Uva and Manyaro, Man 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 help me, Naranya, until 800 years ago. I don't know what splits the two games, but this magazine should not exist. That's freaking insane. Now I gotta see what it's gonna say for the Violet Pokemon. What explanation could you possibly give? Okay, so Brute Bonnet is Grass Dark. Check out how it's got legs though. But this is a normal Amoongus. You see this? He ain't got legs. This man slugs around on the ground. He don't even got a tail. Brute Bonnet. I'm about to open my game. Brute Bonnet. You see that? He, the dude's got a tail. Explain me. Explain me what that symbol is. What good does that do in the wild? The Pokemon monkey's looking at it from the trees. Oh, what is that? A stadium? Let me go down and check it. How could that possibly be advantageous in the wild? There's already markings of ancient people in the great crater of Paldi. There's people who left the markings. There was Pokemon about to start the lost civilization. Tinfoil theory. 570 BST. Congrats, Amoongus. You're a freaking legendary now. It bears a slight resemblance to a Pokemon described in a dubious magazine as a cross between a dinosaur, a dinosaur and a mushroom. What is this dubious magazine? A cult. I'm so confused. This is actually a, a freaking paradox. No one drew up these ancient Pokemon in Pokemon Violet. There's no images of them or anything. How is there a dubious magazine that is referenced in Pokemon Violet? Unless this is like a a warp thing because you traded with the other game copies of the other games magazine made it over or something sandy shocks this might be one of my most favorite ancient pokemon like damn how did you manage to make a magneton this creepy never would i have expected magnetons to exist in ancient times and hold up you've got screws you got freaking screws this makes no sense it's, it says it's 10,000 years old. I remember your Pokedex entry. Wait, maybe they are paradoxes. Something's wrong here. 570 again. So what's Salamence gonna be? He's gonna be freaking 680. Cause Salamence is already 600. Let's just compare their stats real quick. You're such a wimp. You're disgusting. You're like the disappointing grandson. How can you inherit all this, this man's wealth here? Everything he worked for. This is how you came out? This is how you're born? It slightly resembles a magneton that lived for 10,000 years and was featured in an article in a paranormal magazine. This is a cult. I think this is an in- this is a joke. If you trade with the other copy, you get their occult magazine. And that's why it's this dubious magazine. They, it came from a different timeline. That's what this is about. That's why they got entries. This dude is 10,000 years old. 
when did he get a screw? This man almost looked like a future Magneton. Like he escaped the factory. He escaped the future hood. The, 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 the mecha hood. He wanted to live a normal life, put on a coat, buy some stuff. How weird is it that it's human-like? Like it walks like a human. Hey, our, you know what? What if there was like crazy scientists that morphed the Pokemon into this? Think about it. Amoongus? Okay, man's already a Pokeball. Pokeballs are invented. Someone morphed it into that. This, someone morphed a normal Magneton into it. I'm just freaking kidding. My favorite freaking ancient Pokemon across the board. Flutter, fl no, scream tail. Just let me see some legendary stats and I'm, I'm locking it in. This is my favorite Pokemon in the game. Look at these stats. 115 HP, crazy defenses. Oh, but the sucker has no attack. I can, I can work with that. So when the rumors talked about an uh, ancient Jigglypuff, that seemed like the least exciting. You want to see the jump. Look at normal Jigglypuff stats. Freaking 270. This man more than double. This paints a picture. These Jigglypuffs were ripping apart dinosaurs back in the day. Your grandkids a disappointment. D this your grandson? Not this your grandson. Back in the day, we didn't have pre-evolutions. Back in the day, we didn't have these tubalub evolutions. What the frick is this? In fact, the more I look, it looks like someone in a Jigglypuff suit. So essentially, in present times, once Jigglypuff devolves into this, it evolves again and finds a different pathway where it actually does get offensive stats. It resembles a mysterious Pokemon described in a paranormal magazine as a Jigglypuff from 1 billion years ago. Now listen, I'm all for the lore, Game Freak, but this don't make sense. How could he be from a billion? There ain't... The universe wasn't even born yet. Obviously it was, but we had like single-celled organisms. I don't even think Mew was supposed to go that far back. They can't freaking carbon date it, obviously. This is heat's hyperbolization of it, but I'm all for it. I'll give this man a million years old. I've brought you from the past to show you your grandson. Are you happy? It's a freaking fairy psych tip. What Gardevoir got on this? Gardevoir sucks. Fluttermane. This is my second most favorite one. And gold and silver, Flutter... What the f... Okay, 570 stats. What is this? <laughs> what have you done? Normal Mistrevious is the same way. Alright, you are the father. We got our blood sample. In gold and silver, Mistrevious was such a rare Pokemon to find that it registered in my mind as like a mythical-like Pokemon. And you gotta give crop, crops, props to Game Freak because like in the bigger scheme of things, if you ask all the players, no one cares about Jigglypuff and Mischievous. It's almost a waste of space, waste of people who designed these models. You could have picked Agron, Honchcrow, Ancient Altaria or something. The freaking Charizards, Charizard cells. They could have just made a past and future Charizard. I'm glad they gave it to these Pokemon. So Fluttermane is said to be the ghost of a dinosaur. This dinosaur here. Why the Taurosaur is not a dinosaur? Much like I guess this bird. is pretty accurate. It was a Tyrosaur. big long-headed bird like this. This is mischievous? <laughs> hey, this your daddy? This your alive daddy? So Fluttermane, what are you? The freaking head of it? It has similar features to a ghostly Taurosaur that was covered in a paranormal magazine, but the two have little else in common. Okay, they're aware of it. So like, Heath, where did you get this <laughs> conclusion from? It's not like you plucked a ghostly hair or anything off this thing. All you did was get your ass smacked by it. You ran back to the surface. This must be a dead dinosaur. Wouldn't that be eerie if like the majority of the ghost Pokemon we have today, Gengar and everything, are dead dinosaurs. That's where they went. Slither wing. In hindsight, I remember now they did say, a past and future Volcarona. This guy is bug fighting. Just what were you doing in the past that you had to actually scrap at your fists? This man has actual attack. 570? Volcarona's 550. And look, swapped all the way over to special attack. Slither, wait, wait. Hey yo, I thought you would be like 600 at least. This Pokemon somewhat resembles an ancient form of Volcarona that was introduced in a dubious magazine. So does this Volcarona here, Slitherwing, fight with th these things right here? Is this what it punches people with? It definitely looks more like a different Larvesta evolution than a different Volcarona. And the last ancient form, my third favorite, what the frick, Roaring Moon. This man looks like a Mega Evolution. I don't remember, what is Mega Salamence? We're gonna figure this out. So here's normal, si oh goodness, bro. 
This thing looks like it causes carnage. What? 590? Hey! He got weaker! What the frig, Game Freak? What? Hold up. The sucker in this man is stronger. This don't make no sense, bro. Freaking Palafin is 650. You couldn't have made this man like 620 something? Make him a bit cool? We have to read its entry. It is possible that this is the creature listed as Roaring Moon in an expedition journal that still holds many mysteries. Okay, so he sees this thing fluttering in that place with the symbol on the ground. And he's like, that's a moon. It probably yelled at them once. So he roaring moon. There ain't no sun in the future. There ain't no crying sun. According to an article in a dubious magazine, this Pokemon has some connection to a phenomenon that it occurs in a certain region. That sounds like Mega Evolution. What the frick does Me what does Mega Salamence look like? Yo, you do kind of look like Mega Salamence. Oh shoot! Is that intended? Wait, they freaking remember Mega Evolution? They did this on purpose. They, they remembered Mega Evolution. That is so weird. Didn't you want us to forget all about that? Why would you allude to it? So this is a Mega Salamence or somewhere in between. In the past, it had awakened more of that power that it was roaming like a Mega Evolution. Frick, you look like a sh uh, uh, an airplane. So this man tucks his hands in his little Jansport bag, right? This man is still swinging. Wow, Mega Salamence looks funnier and funnier as I look at it. Look at the tail. It's Mega Salamence. This Pokemon has some connection to a phenomenon that occurs in a certain region. All right, Mega has been around since AZ's time. So they knew Salamence. They knew everything. Bro. If you have tapped into Mega Salamence's powers, how the frick are you weaker than normal Salamence? Look, Mega Salamence has 700. This, nah, I'm telling you, this sucker should have been 670 or 680. I get it. That's only for cover mascots. Karadon and Maradon probably 670. Kyogre and Gradon are 670. But this man is permanent Mega Salamence from the past. That is crazy. This boggles my mind. Bro, but Titar don't look like Mega Titar. That sucker look like a. Okay, we gotta keep going. So there's also the protosynthesis ability, right? Is that just them being so used to the? You would imagine back in the day everything's more tropical. So is that them being more used to that kind of climate that it brings out more of their power? Is that why everyone has that ability, or is there something weird going on here? Cause I'm thinking back to the freaking Amoongus. That dude makes no sense. That Amoongus looked like someone sent Amoongus to the past. And then he evolved into that. Iron Shreds. This dude pissed me off. So when you see him in the trailers, you imagine he has Don Fan's face. That does not, that's not a Don Fan. Bro, the freaking roly poly thing he does is sick. But when he opens and violates you with his face, it pisses me off. And so I'm here to freaking figure out that is. Guys, Pokemon Violet or Scarlet. There's no way Violet is as good as Scarlet, but. Just let me know your honest opinion. Don't freaking yell at me. So he's ground steel and then quark drive. We'll talk about this in a second. This Pokemon closely resembles a scientific weapon that a paranormal magazine claimed was sent to this planet by aliens. They call it a scientific weapon. This makes me feel more like they made a Dawn fan from scratch rather than enhancing the current one because that's not Dawn fan anymore. It looks like you studied what made Don Fan excel. You took a couple of his genes, then made a whole Mewtwo version of him. A scientific weapon is exactly what I want, wanted to hear. Oh, Iron Moth. I love this thing. It kind of look like those, those wall lights people have. I've never figured this thing's typing. Fire poison. So whatever happened in the future, these guys are using machinery to become something else without becoming a steel type. Holy frick, it is an enhanced Volcarona look. Look at that special attack. I really like this Pokemon. I think I like it more than 
Slitherwing. This is what they said for the deli bird. They called it an object. These suckers, they have to be looked at as objects. They look like recreations. Like all you did was create this mass creature and stick it in a deli bird looking body. But it's not a deli bird. This guy takes his water jug out, splashes you with it, pulls his head out. His Pokemon resembles an unknown object described in a paranormal magazine as a UFO sent to observe you. <laughs> what the f heat? Who, who is this heat? <laughs> this is not the same heat I knew. The Scarlet Heat had some brains to him. Then again, he said billion year old Jigglypuff. No human in the history of Pokemon has had as much fun as Heath did. This man had a true treasure hunt. They call this thing a UFO sent to observe humanity. This is kind of the cool thing Pokemon did with future Pokemon, which has to grow on you. They don't look different. They just trip you out because they're completely different on the inside. It's almost like an imposter. It's almost just a future creation imposter as a Volcarona. Now we got to figure out how the future Pokemon turned into this. When I was playing the game, I came up with this idea that there's like this weird electric disaster that's consumed the whole world. And only Pokemon that have adapted to that survive. And so every Pokemon has quirk drive. So the question is, did a machine do it to them or did a human do it to them? This makes me scared as crap of the future. Like you can't even trust a Pokemon's appearance. Iron hands. This is what I'm talking about, bro. I hated Hariyama. I still do. The sucker should be deleted from the game. And they gave him a future for him. See, this dude here is unlike Brute Bonnet and Scream Tail, where they have added features. Like they lost things to time. They are imposters of what the current forms we know. They are literal robots roaming Area Zero. Holy frick. 150 HP. Oh, he's fighting electric. Oh, I could have guessed that. So let's see what Heat's creative mind came up with this time. It is very similar to a cyborg covered exclusively by Paranormal Magazine. The cyborg was said to be the modified form of a certain athlete. Wait, this is a Terminator villain right here. His hands don't even attach to his body. This man T-poses, blocks your entrance. If a uh, fairy I'm gonna come from the future and the movie plot is to kill me, just kill me. I'm not I'm not playing out that movie. This is a real paradox. The past Pokemon, you can write up that some were preserved in the million year old crater. That makes sense how he could have found past Pokemon down there. How does he find future Pokemon? 200 years bef in the past. Iron Jugular. This guy has 600 BST. They're gonna give him 590. Look at this thing. What is a jugular? Jugulus. Uh, plural of jugulum. Freaking hate this language. Jugulum meaning throat or neck. Oh, it's right. It's go for the jugular. What a stupid man. He he saw a three-headed dragon and named it off the throat, not the head. 570! But Salamence was fi- Am I stupid? How is Salamence 590? It resembles a certain Pokemon introduced in a paranormal magazine, described as the offspring of a high dragon that fell in love with the robot. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> That don't, that's not a word key. The frick, yo. What if they made a ditto in the future? Like an actual, the, the liquid terminator? So it, it breeds with the Pokemon and like gains all its information. Freaking transform. That's what happened to the future. Someone invented the iron ditto. It transformed everything. That actually sounds like the apocalypse. The invention of the iron ditto. It is possible that Iron Jugulus, an object described in an old book, may actually be this Pokemon. How he- How did you see this thing in the past? I want answers, Game Freak. Okay, here is my boy. My dead inside bo- My dead inside boy with the collar tur turtleneck. What the frick happened to you, bro? Grandma gave you the biggest sweater and he can't even move his arms. It's time for me to learn what typing you are. Iron Thorns. He's rock electric. That's freaking sick. He can thunder punch you. See, bro, you don't even look like Mega Titar. So the freaking Pupitar bits, they've added some weird energy inside there. He's like lit up like a battery. They've literally disrespected like a dead Titar. They opened him up, but you gotta like blur your eyes a bit and look at the whole picture. It's just an imposter remade Titar. That's all it's supposed to be. I just don't get how it doesn't look like Mega Titar. Five se What's happening here? You're the same as Jigglypuff? 
this makes bro heat i mean future whoever man mr the grandson toro how does he only have 570 see look he's as fast as mega Titar. i remember mega Titar has 70 speed he has a bunch of attack how is this man weaker than normal Titars? where the frick did salamence come from having 590 so iron thorns has the exact same attack stat and hp as what the frick most of its stats are the same what does it say for Mega Titar? Due to the colossal power poured into it, this Pokemon's back split right open. Its destructive instincts are the only thing keeping it moving. You, okay, you, 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 you are not Mega Titar. I can cle see it very clearly now. You know, it's freaking, this thing's growing on to me. Like, I'm starting to like it a lot. The effects of Mega Evolution made it more ferocious than ever. It's unclear whether you can even hear its trainer's orders. So that's Mega Titar. What's Mega Salamence? The stress of its two proud wings becomes misshapen and stuck together because of a strong energy that makes it go on a rampage. But guess what? Yeah, that's not an accident. He just regressed. It puts its four legs inside its shell to streamline itself for flight. Yeah, because this is... Salamence flies at high speeds over all kind of topographical features. Okay, it tapped into what it used to be. With the majority of Mega Evolutions, it was looked at like a stage up. That the Pokemon was forced to evolve more at that moment. But Salamence here has shown that he he regresses. He had a plan when, when you Mega Evolve him. I feel freaking disrespected. His base stats are 570. Iron Bundle. This is one of my favorite future Pokemon, which makes no sense because Delibird pisses me off. It's an ice water type, so they granted this penguin his water type back using the power of machinery that's not in his typing. Oh, but let me get powered up with Quark Drive so you can kill me with thunder moves. This is, whoa, no wonder this man Oko's you. How the frick are you T-Tar's equivalent? Its shape is similar to a robot feature in a paranormal magazine. The robot was said to have been created by an a ancient civilization you better calm down of course they'd come to that conclusion there are only two reported signs of this pokemon see i was wondering this in the game i saw two deli birds dancing in sync are they are they supposed to be couples if you take iron bundle to the movie learner he can learn electric terrain oh we have one more oh 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 man i've been wanting to meet this thing for so long iron valian so the rumors said that there was this is so cool man it's a combination of Gallade and Gardevoir. But at the time you read the rumors, you didn't think the future Pokemon were like, like the way I'm describing them. I thought that in the future, they found the perfect mix between Gardevoir and Gallade and made this. Or let's say, you know, the Gardevoir Gallade line is extinct. They found Curlia. And when putting all this DNA together with Gallade and Gardevoir, they didn't realize they're different Pokemon. So they just like amalgamated into one. That is so weird. It's a Gardevoir Gallade. Is it fairy fighting? Wouldn't it be? It should be fairy fighting. Iron. Iron Valen. It's fairy fighting. Oh, that's so cool. That's so freaking cool, bro. It's like they brought out the best in Curlia's DNA. They just combined them. It, even, it looks like a freaking mega evolution because of the Gardevoir dress. Five. Wow, it actually has, like, the attack stats of both of them. Wait, it's 590. Did we ever have a fairy fighting type? This is the first one, right? Okay, bro, 590. It has some similarity to a mad scientist's invention covered in a paranormal magazine. That's so cool. So this is Salamence's counterpart. It's not the T-Tar. Toro sent this out last. I remember that. So they don't even care about pseudos and all that stuff. Tyranitar, Hydreigon, they're just like every other normal Pokemon. 570 BST. But Salamence and this thing for some reason are the Alphas. 590. Salamence because it tapped into Mega Evolution power, which is freaking insane. And then you because they brought out the best in both Gardevoir and Gallade. This does look like a mad scientist invention. I want to meet this mad scientist. I want him to make all kinds of experiments. Combine a T-Tar and Salamence. Give it, that'd be sick. I 
I have a question. Does Gardevoir have have the watermelon in its belly too? Alright. I've said a lot of crazy theories, but I'm just I'm just throwing this out there, right? I'm just curious. Mega look at Gallade. No dress, no cape, obviously. Look at Gardevoir, right? So this thing here, the dress it gets from Gardevoir. The dress part. But look at Mega Gallade. Mega Gallade has that thing as well, but it's a cape. Which is how this thing has it. It's a cape. Only because it's half and half, so it didn't do the full dress, they did half it. Look at look at these you see these arms right here? This, right? The freaking elbow blades. Normal Gallade has it green. That's what Mega Gallade has. I don't really see Mega Gardevoir in this. Even the little things behind its eyes, all uh, Gallade family members have it. I gotta see this guy in game. Okay, these are the alphas. Bro, I can't- so what the frick is Iron Thorns' counterpart? Slitherwing? Sandy Shocks? Oh my god, Teacher's counterpart is Sandy Shocks. Iron Jugulus' counterpart is Fluttermane. Wow. Are you serious? The future got some stacked Pokemon. What the frick? Yo, that looks like a Mega Volution. Oh my god. That thing looks... Yo, your, your hair. Who the frick did that? Hey, none of your evolutions got those freaking hairs. Like some pigtail thing? So the thing on its head, the little moon, Gallade and Mega Gallade already have that. The dress thing. Hmm. Okay. I think I'm tripping. But I will say, the freaking elbow blades, that's only a Mega Gallade. They didn't mention no mysterious region thing. They called it a mad scientist invention. Meanwhile, this man, a phenomenon that occurs in a certain region. Look at him on the ground, eat, I'm ready to eat. This is a freaking Mega Salamence in 2022 i'm just saying wouldn't it be interesting if both of these were mega evolutions crydon gets the ability ori cal compulse which is pretty much it's protosynthesis combined with drought i bet you groudon's jealous <laughs> this man got this man pretty much has a calyrex ability he has two abilities 670 he's the, he's he's the super apex of the ancient world i'm just saying bro made it you should have made him 680 then made salamence and uh, what's his name roaring moon and iron valiant 670 you should have this seems to be the winged king mentioned it has a freaking paradox name yo he he saw Koridon. there's literal proof Koridon didn't they literally say in the game that Sada is the one who brings out two Karana. They didn't exist, but maybe it's not for certain they didn't exist before then. But there's no way, there's no way this thing was just in Area Zero. It was said to have split the land with its bare fist. Damn, Groudon, you so ass. This Pokemon resembles Cyclizer, but it's far burlier and more ferocious. Nothing is known about its ecology or other features. The ecology and data collected about this Pokemon are unknown. It was named Koridon by the professor who discovered it. Okay, makes sense. Of course it was. It has similar characteristics to a creature described in an old book as the Winged King. That's crazy. Screamtail, Winged King. So Maridon would be Iron... Iron King. Iron Man. Iron Bike. That's freaking adorable. Maridon. Which I've grown to like a lot after I played Violet. Any final guesses? Iron Dragon. Iron Bicycle, Iron Snake, Hadron Engine, Freaking Electric Surge plus Quark Drive. Much remains unknown about this creature. It resembles Cyclizer, but it's far more ruthless and powerful. Hey, Iron Serpent! Hey! This seems to be the I Oh! Iron Serpent mentioned in a book. Iron Serpent is said to have turned the land to ash with its lightning. Okay. Okay. Maybe that is what happened. Its characteristics match those of a mysterious object recorded in they call it an object too. So if we got a third version or a DLC, this kind of breaks my heart, but I feel like they would they would rename all the Pokemon. Like we would lose Fluttermane, Roaring Moon, they would name it like Salamence. And then for some reason, if you look in the game's code, it's after Maridon that sub several Pokemon exist, such as Tinkatung, Tinka, Tinka, Tinka Tink. Wow, it has the ability Mold Breaker. I love this Pokemon. This is our Gardevoir of this generation, our Hatterene, 
or Reuniclus, it's freaking sick. <laughs> Yo, it swings its handmade hammer around to protect itself, but the hammer is often stolen by Pokemon that eat metal. This Pokemon pounds iron scraps together to make a hammer. It will remake the hammer again and again until it's satisfied with the result. Hey, that's a blacksmith. It's gonna make some Japanese blades. Yo, there's gonna be a regional variant in some region where it's it's made blades. It's folded the steel. Then we have Tinka Ton, Tinka Tough. They seem to list uh, for now Tinka Tinka's number thousand. It's not official. We can only speculate right now. This Pokemon will attack groups of Ponyard and Bisharp, gathering metal from them. I remember this. It goes after them because they're dark types. I think the best part about Tinkaton is that they kept it a small little Pokemon that's wielding this giant holy frick. You, this thing's attack stat? I don't like this Pokemon anymore. It's 75? Are you, bro, you're kidding me. This thing should be having like huge power and 100 attack. Why does it have 75 attack, bro? What the frick is the point of the hammer then? That better be her freaking attack. Is there at least like an item called the hammer that it can hold? Bro, did you make it that attack sh that ass just because of its signature move? Because I, I, I would have taken a normal freaking signature move then. Bro, that is so ass. This intelligent Pokemon has a very daring disposition. It knocks rocks into the sky aiming for Corviknight. This thing's a troll. It freaking smacks rocks. This hammer tops 220 pounds. Yet, it gets swung around easily by Tinkaton, as it steals whatever it pleases and carries its blunder back home. So why is its attack- Bro, this pisses me off. How is it 75? You fricked it, man. What am I gonna use play rough with that attack stat? Let me see where this thing is in smog on. I bet you it's it's low. It's in freaking Yu Yu. You did this to it. Char Cadet. Everyone loves Tricadet, of course. We talked about this enough. Armor Rouge and Seru Ledge, solid Pokemon. The truth is, they could have turned these into legendaries. They they look like it. Toad School. I like it, all right. It's grown on me, this naked child wearing no pants. Like, that's what it looks like. It just runs around. And Game Freak's not gonna explain it. They're not gonna explain why it looks like a tentacle. I'm so freaking glad they introduced regional fakes. This is the funniest thing ever. I can't wait to see them introduce more like a year from now. King Gambit, I'm finally gonna learn just exactly what you are. So the man has a sword in his mouth. What the frick? This is the only thing that redeemed the Gita fight for me. Cause that was the first time I saw this and Gita was pure dookie, had a freaking go goat on her team. Someone at Game Freak wrote that. Wow. It's dark steel, like a Bisharp, big blade Pokemon. Wow, look at these base stats. 550 like gold and gold. Okay, what is Supreme Overload? Lord. When the Pokemon enters a battle, its attack and special attack are slightly boosted for each of the allies in its party that have been defeated. Wow. So like a chessboard in a weird way, you save it till the end to use. Except, you know, when chess, no one uses the king but it's like the longer you take to send out the king the stronger he is look he's a freaking evolution defeat three bishop that are holding leader's crest <laughs> the frick this item is held by wild bishop that can be found in groups with several ponyard defeat bishop that hold these you have to evolve it by <laughs> dethroning gangs you gotta kill three gang leaders and you become a king only a bishop that stands above all in its vast army can evolve into king gambit it pretty much needs the street cred. Though it commands a massive army in battle, it's not very skilled at devising complex strategies. It just uses brute force to keep pushing. Bro, you should have made a, a queen evolution as well. Now that we're doing the chessboard. And the queen, you can make like super fast. Like it's going all over the board. Because this guy's super slow. Let's see what his name is in Japanese. It's Do Doge Zan. Do Do Gezan. It's a combination of Do, very much. Dogeza kneeling on the ground and za to cut her. So is it freaking only the king piece in English? King Gambit may be based on a samurai or shogun or daimyo. Okay, it is the king, but Game Freak don't care about our chessboard. So f it, we ain't getting no queen piece. Final Pokemon, Annihilate. 
My boy got his Magma Revolution. 535 BST and he's good. Thank goodness Game Freak pulled their pants down and came up with evolution methods like this and stopped caring about like staying true to the Eevee light. I'm certain that's why they only made cross evolutions for regional variants, but they finally let it all out. Yeah, that means the Eevee lights being retconned generation after generation. Suddenly it didn't work on Bisharp. Now it's gonna freaking work, but no one cares. They're retconning small, small things as time goes on. Like there's no freaking beauty in the game for Sylveon, something like that. So who cares? They're finally back on track with a lot of things in this game. I've reacted to every new Pokemon. I've told you my thoughts. Shank that like button. Let me know your favorite Pokemon in this Dex and then your favorite Paradox Pokemon. And then whether Scarlet is better than Violet. Does the future robot army hold your heart or is it the ancient goons? See you on the next video. Take care. Sound